Hello everyone, I'm Connor John. This time I bring you our new generation of wireless microphone, the Lark Max 2. Now the Lark Max 2 is a professional 32-bit wireless microphone system with full chain audio capture, transmission, and monitoring. Featuring 2.4 gigahertz wireless tech and OWS earphones, it enables real-time cable-free monitoring within 100 meters. It captures up to 10 hours of uncompressed backup audio, and advanced AI noise cancellation ensures crystal clear sound in any environment. With built-in timecode and support for up to four transmitters per receiver, it's perfect for multi-person shoots. From commercial production to live interviews, enjoy flawless broadcast grade audio right out of the box. Let's see what's in the box. Now that you know what makes a Lark Max 2 so powerful, let's take a closer look at its design and how each part of this system works, so you can make the most out of every feature. Charging case intro. Let's start with the charging case, your base station for keeping everything powered and updated. First, take a look at the charging case indicator light. It shows the real-time battery level of the case itself. If the battery is below 3%, the light will glow red and breathe slowly. When the battery is between 3% and 6%, the light turns solid red. From 6% to 98%, the indicator stays a solid white, and once it's above 98%, you will see a solid green light. And just a heads up, the green light stays on for 30 seconds each time you open or close the lid. Then it automatically turns off to save some power. Next, you'll notice the USB-C port on the back of the case. This is used to charge your case and update your device's firmware. Now this case isn't just for storing your gear, it's your command center for charging, syncing, and staying ready to create. Camera receiver introduction. Now let's dive into the receiver, or RX for short, the heart of live audio control. On the side, we have a knob button. A single click on the main interface takes you straight into the menu, while a rotation lets you adjust the camera receiver output gain on the fly. Just note, the knob only works on the main screen. It won't respond in other interfaces. Right next to it is the touchscreen, which gives you a clear, real-time view of both your mic transmitter and camera receiver status. It's your control center for quick monitoring and adjustments. Need to back up? Hit the back button to return to the previous menu with a single tap. Then there's the power pairing mute lock button, a true multitasker. Single click to lock or unlock the touchscreen, double click to mute or unmute, and when this is powered off, long press for six seconds to enter pairing mode. On the side, you'll see a 3.5 millimeter TRS headphone monitoring jack, letting you monitor your audio output in real time. The charging and data transmission contacts allow for the receiver to charge while resting in the case. And for digital audio output or syncing timecode with a computer or mobile device, you can use a USB-C port. It also doubles as a charging port. Prefer analog output? No problem. There's a 3.5 millimeter TRS camera output interface ready to go. Finally, the cold shoe mount on the bottom makes it easy to attach the receiver directly to your camera's cold or hot shoe for a streamlined setup. Phone receiver introduction. Now let's take a closer look at the USB-C receiver, or RX for short. On the front, you'll see the status lights, which show two things at a glance, whether the transmitter is paired and whether the noise cancellation is currently active. On the side, you'll find the USB-C charging port. This allows you to charge your mobile device while this receiver is plugged into it, giving creators uninterrupted power during longer shoots. Right below that is the noise cancellation and pairing button. Single click to toggle the mic transmitter's AI noise cancellation. Press and hold for three seconds to enter pairing mode. Finally, at the base is the USB-C mail port, which outputs audio data and also supports charging, making it both functional and flexible for mobile workflows. Transmitter introduction. This is the Lark Max 2 transmitter, or TX for short. 
It features a built-in omnidirectional microphone with a frequency response range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, delivering clear and natural sound. An internal recording status indicator shows whether internal recording is active, while the dedicated recording button allows you to easily start or stop local recording with a single click. The transmitter status light gives you real-time feedback on the connection status, the noise cancellation, mute mode, and battery level. It also includes a multi-function button, click once to enable or disable noise cancellation, double click to mute or unmute, long press for three seconds to power on or off, and press for six seconds while it's off to enter pairing mode. At the bottom, charging contacts allow for effortless recharging in the case. The USB-C port supports both audiophile export and wired charging. And it also works with lavalier microphone for more recording flexibility. And the hovering back clip ensures a stable and discreet mount for any recording setup. Earphones introduction. Compared with the previous microphone, this time we have added an OWS monitor earphone. On the earphone case, you'll find a multi-function button. Here's how it works. When the earphones are placed inside the case and the lid is open, simply triple click this button to switch between 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode and Bluetooth mode, giving you flexibility depending on your setup. Once you've switched modes, just long press the button to enter pairing mode. And once you've paired your earphones with the camera receiver, they'll automatically reconnect every time you open the lid. No extra steps needed. There's also a USB-C charging port on the case. To keep your earphones powered up is fast and easy, whether you're at your desk or out in the field. Each earphone in the earphone compartment is equipped with a high quality speaker, delivering clear and accurate sound so you can monitor audio in real time with confidence. You'll also notice the charging contacts on the back of each earphone. Just pop them back into the case when you're done and they'll start charging right away. And controlling the playback is simple. Just double click the earphone to play or pause the audio, which is pretty quick and very intuitive. And don't forget to check the LED indicator light on the earphone. It tells you which mode you're in. The white light means you're in 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode. And the blue light indicates that you're in Bluetooth mode. Easy, efficient, and made for creators on the move. How to wear. The earphones are open type earphones. After taking them out of the box, adjust the clamping angle to the maximum. Hang them on top of your ears and then fine tune the fit for comfort. Now the mic transmitter can be used in a couple different ways. The mic transmitter can be clipped directly onto the collar, like I've done here. or using the magnetic attachment or use with the wired lavalier microphone accessory. How to connect. Here's how to connect the microphone to a camera or a mobile phone. For cameras with hot shoe mounts such as Sony models, you can use our hot shoe adapter to mount the receiver unit. After mounting, connect the camera receiver to the camera's monitoring port using the 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS cable. For cameras without a hot shoe, two TRS to TRS cables are required. Connect the camera's mic port to the camera receiver's camera port and connect the camera's monitoring port to the camera receiver's monitoring port. Now, connecting to your mobile device. After turning on all devices, insert the USB-C receiver into your mobile phone. The indicator light will stay on, indicating that the system is working properly and audio is being received. You can also download the Lark Sound app from the App Store to adjust microphone settings such as output volume, noise cancellation level, and playback via the phone speaker. Compatible with Android devices and iPhone 15 or later models with a USB-C interface. 
But don't worry, if you have an older iPhone with a lightning port, it does come with a USB-C to lightning port adapter. Introduction, monitoring methods. There are two ways to monitor your audio. First, wired monitoring. Simply plug in your wired headphones into the receiver's monitoring port to hear the audio output directly. Second, wireless monitoring. Once your earphones are paired, you can select the monitoring source either from the receiver only or from both the receiver and the camera's audio for a more flexible and complete monitoring experience. Choose the method that works best for your setup and enjoy seamless audio monitoring. Time code function. To use the timecode feature, simply access the menu on the camera version receiver and enable the timecode function. You can then sync the timecode output using C to C or TRS to TRS cables. Once the timecode is activated, switching recording modes is not supported because the audio will be output on the left channel and the timecode data will be output on the right channel. Four transmitter and one receiver function introduction. As stated earlier, you can use four transmitters per receiver. Here's how to set it up on the camera receiver. Camera receiver. First, please upgrade the existing two mic and one receiver devices first. Two, after upgrading, switch camera receiver to four mic and one receiver mode in the settings and pair with the additional mics. To pair the mics, power off the mic and then press and hold the power button, also the pairing button, for six seconds to enter pairing mode. And for the camera receiver, go to the pairing mode in the menu settings. After pairing, it is recommended to upgrade the entire system. And if you want those additional mics, you can purchase them separately. Now a quick note, the wireless monitoring is not available during the four mic and one receiver mode. Now for the USB-C receiver. Switch to four mic and one receiver mode via the LarkSound app and pair with the additional mics. Introduction to recording audio bit depth switching. You can switch bit depth via the camera receiver or the LarkSound app. The device will restart after switching. Also, 32-bit audio will only be output properly if the connected device supports 32-bit. If the device doesn't support 32-bit, it will receive a 24-bit audio instead. Internal recording function, introduction. So let's talk about our internal recording function. It can be turned on at the transmitter and receiver ends. When turned on, the indicator light will turn red. After the recording is complete, you can use the USB A to C or USB C to C cable to connect the transmitter to the computer and export the recorded file. The recorded file supports 32-bit and 24-bit depth. Lock function introduction. To prevent accidental touches and settings being changed, you can use the lock function. On the receiver side, enter the mic settings and select lock mic. After turning it on, you cannot control the different functions through the buttons on the transmitter. You can only set it after unlocking. Press the switch on the side to turn on the receiver lock. The lock icon will appear with a single press. Once it's enabled, you won't be able to change the receiver settings. Pairing introduction. Let's talk about pairing. The earphones and mic are pre-paired at the factory for your convenience. However, if the transmitter is disconnected from the camera receiver, you have two options for repairing. Simply place the transmitter into the charging case and it will automatically pair, or you can manually pair it. To manually pair with the camera receiver, first enter pairing mode on the receiver. Then long press the power button on the transmitter to turn it off. Long press it again for six seconds until the transmitter's indicator light flashes quickly, signaling that it's in pairing mode. Once the indicator light is no longer flashing and is solid, the pairing is successful. For pairing with the USB-C receiver, the process is slightly different. First, ensure the transmitter is powered off. Then long press the button on the side of the transmitter for six seconds until the blue light starts flashing quickly. Next, long press the pairing button on the side of the receiver for five seconds until the blue light on the receiver also flashes quickly. Once both the transmitter and receiver are in pairing mode with the blue light flashing rapidly, wait approximately three seconds for the devices to pair. When you see the blue light stay on, it means the pairing is successful. How to pair your wireless monitoring earphones. It only takes a few easy steps. 
First, place the earphones into the charging case and keep the lid open. Then press the button three times to switch between modes. You'll see a blue light flash for Bluetooth mode and a white light flash for 2.4 gigahertz mode. Choose the one that suits your setup. Once you've selected your mode, long press the same button to enter pairing mode. At the same time, make sure your camera receiver is also in pairing mode and they'll just sync up automatically. Just like that, you're ready to monitor your audio in real time. App introduction. To get the most out of your Lark Max 2, make sure to download the latest version of the Lark Sound app. Both the USB-C receiver and the camera receiver support parameter adjustments and firmware upgrades via the app, making setup and customization more intuitive than ever. When it comes to firmware updates, both the OWS monitor earphones and the larger charging case support Bluetooth OTA upgrades. If you're updating via the box, place both the transmitter and receiver units inside. Connect the box via Bluetooth in the app and follow OTA upgrades process. Alternatively, you can connect the receiver to your smartphone, pair it with the transmitter, and update the firmware directly through the app interface. During the upgrade process, ensure your devices stay paired and connected. Avoid exiting the app or disconnecting any unit, as this could lead to an upgrade failure or device malfunction. Using the app with the USB-C receiver, you can adjust phone speaker, locking the mic, noise cancellation, auto gain and custom gain, recording mode, whether you want mono, stereo, or a safety track, the bit depth, and the mic ID. For the camera receiver, you'll have access to all of the above settings with the added timecode syncing, enabling seamless audio video alignment in post-production. With your system now fully updated and customized, let's move on to how to set up your gear for different recording scenarios. Now that we've talked about how amazing the Lark Max 2 is, let's find out which bundle is gonna be best for your creative needs. SKU introduction. The Lark Max 2 lineup is designed to meet a variety of creative and professional needs. Whether you're working solo or you're on a larger team, there is a combo that fits your workflow. The ultimate combo includes a camera receiver, a USB-C receiver, and a pair of OWS monitor earphones, giving you real-time wireless monitoring and flexible connectivity options, all in one kit. The combo includes both camera and USB-C receivers, ideal for creators switching between camera and phone shooting setups. The combo four person supports up to four transmitters paired with one receiver, perfect for panel discussions, interviews, or group content creation. For one-person setups, the solo version includes just the camera receiver and a single transmitter or microphone, lightweight and portable for on-the-go recording. Additionally, the system is compatible with our omnidirectional lavalier microphone, giving you more flexibility when a low profile or wired mic is needed. So we've covered just about all the key features of the Lark Max 2, but if you want more information, you can visit the official website. Thank you so much for watching, and if there are other tutorial videos you would like to see, please let us know in the comments down below. See you next time.